Now that we're dealing with these radical functions, we need to determine the domain of these radical functions. The domain are all the allowable values of x that we can put in our roots. Sure, we know if we have a root with an even index, we cannot have uh, negative numbers underneath that radical. Okay. So then, here my index is 2, because it's not written there, it's assumed to be a 2. What I need to do is I need to find out where this radicand is bigger than 0. Okay, and how am I going to do that? I'm going to ask it. I'm going to be like, oh radicand, where are you bigger than 0? Now can it be equal to 0 too? Can I take the square root of 0? I'm saying the number will multiply by itself. Yes, zero works for me. Okay, oh no, I'm gonna change that problem. Make that a four, make that a four. Uh-huh, yeah, it's if Elvis was a four. Okay, how are we gonna solve that, huh? I guess we could have done the other one and used the square root of two. But here I'm looking at this and now I'm gonna use my zero factor property. I'm gonna factor first every single time x plus two x minus 2. Yeah, now what do we want? We want to know where that is bigger than or equal to 0. Here I have a couple of critical points. Yeah, 2 and minus 2. Okay, let's test a point and see if my expression is true. Yeah, um, let's test something to the left of 2. Um, the left of minus 2. Let's say minus 10. Minus 10 is going to make this negative. Minus 10 is going to make this negative. When I say it's going to make this, I'm plugging it in there, and 10 minus 2 is minus 8. Great. And minus 10 minus 2 is um, minus 12. Swell. Well, I'm not really worried about what the function value is. A negative times a negative is positive. Okay. Now let's check a spot in here. Zero is usually good. Zero makes this positive or negative? Positive. Zero makes this positive or negative? Negative. A negative times a positive is negative. Okay. Um, testing a point bigger than two, try 10. 10 in here, that's 12, that's positive. 10 in here, eight, that's positive. Positive and positive is positive. Okay, so I need to um, determine where it's bigger than zero, aka positive, and that is from minus infinity to a minus two. Oh, include it. Onion it up with two to infinity. Yeah. yeah. You found your domain.